appeared in an ad for an investment company. We found this video on his high school Facebook page. He was rejected by the school rifle team. Crooks' aim was comically bad. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Now, if you haven't taken a holiday off of the internet, you're most probably aware of the Trump situation where he almost got John F. Kennedy. Literally seconds away from the whole thing turning into an episode from the boys. Mr. Donald Trump got the spidey senses. The spidey senses tickled his ear and five bullets were shot towards him and he dodged it just like Spider-Man. And what, what were the secret servers who were there to defend them were doing? They were scrolling on TikTok. Truly embarrassment to the nation. The secret service agency is going to get bullied by all other agencies for, for the future years to come. And Mr. Thomas Crook, a 20-year-old kid, just graduated out of high school. He had one goal and one goal only people remembering his name unfortunately for this donkey mr thomas he won't be going down in the history books like he planned to he'll be forgotten faster than a tiktok trend the only person he almost killed was joe biden after he, real he realized the attempt was a fail so he started punching walls in slow motion raising his blood pressure and saying you got you had one job you had one job, you donkey, and you even fail at that, you fucking loser. And like I said in the last video, there's a lot of theories, there's a lot of possibilities on why this whole thing took place. Was it an inside job? What was it? And like I said, give it some time, you shake the tree, there's going to be apples falling off the tree. I have some very interesting updates about the whole situation. Shit like, after an independent investigation, I have compiled significant evidence that Jill Biden, Joe Biden's wife, is behind the Trump assassination attempt. People are saying Joe Biden's wife was behind this whole thing because she's besties with the head of Secret Service. It is possible. I won't be surprised because she is actually close with the director of secret service and the comments that secret service made on why this person had three minute window to take shots at the former president it's wild we'll get to that later on in the video but first let me update you about mr thomas appeared in an ad for an investment company we found this video on his high school facebook page explaining computer coding to another student the signal is decreasing crooks his high school years were troubled he was rejected by the school rifle team crooks his aim was comically bad according to one report shocking that he was rejected from the gun club for having bad aim we shouldn't judge him too fast maybe a fly was flying next to him tingled his ear and he just lost attention that's why he missed like five shots and another another question i have which school has a fucking gun club this is the first time i'm hearing about this a gun club in school I don't know if this is a real thing or not in the U.S., but let me know if it is. His classmate over here also explains that he actually studied the John F. Kennedy assassination in a history class before going on the whole attempt. He was in the same homeroom as me. Former classmate Sarah D'Angelo says Crooks studied the assassination of President Kennedy in honors American history class. He was also bullied at school and sat by himself friendless in the cafeteria at lunch based on the way he dressed i mean you know how kids are nowadays if you don't fit in with the click they're gonna come after you and that's kind of like how he was like he would sit by himself play games on his computer Stop. this video shows crooks goofing around with other students every single person who bullied thomas their jaws are absolutely on the floor after finding out what thomas did because they dodged a bullet no like literally they dodged a bullet from thomas they should go be thankful that he didn't take his anger out on them and just change up their life and be a better person. Bully, bullying is obviously wrong. No matter how many times you tell these kids in high school that no bullying, bullying is wrong. They are in their savage year. So they're going to do it either way and more people are going to join because they want to be part of the cool kids group. If you're in high school, it is first of all, it is not cool. Second of all, if you're in a school in the US, if others are bullying this person, you be nice to them. Just be nice. You never know the day that comes that it, it, it would have been worth it. Also, an update on Trump's health. He's doing fine. The bullet just missed him by an inch, and he just he got released uh, out of the hospital the same day. And the next day, after I made my video, you guys remember the sniper staring at this guy and not taking the shot, waiting for him to make a move so then they can make a move on the person who's trying to attempt to take away a former president's life? Well, this guy specifically made a statement. My name is Jonathan Willis. I'm the officer in the famous photo 
of the two snipers on the roof at Trump's rally. I came here to inform the public that I had the assassin in my sights for at least three minutes. Three minutes! It seems like the guy wasn't in John Cena mode and he was in sight for three minutes. Was this guy looking at the guy making sure the gun is real? It, it's not a toy gun before taking the shot? He said the reason that he was having eye contact with Thomas for three minutes was because the head of Secret Service refused to give the order to take out the perp. 100% the top brass prevented me from killing the assassin before he took shots at the President Trump. This is where I started playing with my fingers and I'm like, mm, drama. Things just got interesting. And obviously, the head of Secret Service has to make a comment after that. By the way, this guy hasn't been heard of. The sniper guy, we don't know what happened to him. Literally, there's no update of him. And obviously, the head of Secret Service has to make a comment after that statement. And she did. And what she said was... I, you can't make this up. She thinks everyone is a donkey and this whole thing wasn't an excuse. Her excuse was funny as shit. Cheeto speaks exclusively with ABC News taking responsibility for that stunning breakdown in security. This is an event that should have never happened. Who is most responsible for this happening? What I would say is that the Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former president. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. I'm being told that the, uh, the shooter uh, was actually identified uh, as uh, a potential Threat. person of, of suspicion. Units started responding to seek that individual out. Uh, unfortunately, with the rapid succession of how things unfolded, uh, by the time that individual was eventually located, uh, they were on the rooftop and uh, were able to, to fire off uh, the former president. When the threat was identified, there were literally people screaming that there's a shooter with a gun on top. And keep in mind with the videos that have been leaked online, there was a police officer who went up the ladder, looked at the shooter, and the shooter pointed its gun at him, and he just dropped down. The threat was there. And people have been recording and screaming, there's a shooter on top, there's a threat on top, but then you want to identify it? A threat! It's not like he was between the people. He was on a rooftop wearing uh, camouflage and the whole roof was white. Even if the snipers were half blind, they would have seen that that guy is laying on the roof with a gun. ABC News now learning that heavily armed local police were actually stationed inside the building. The gunmen climbed, but they missed him. Butler town officials confirming that after they became aware of the threat, a local police officer climbed up to the roof and confronted crooks but did not succeed in stopping him. What was your reaction when you saw the events unfold on Saturday? Shock uh, and then concern, obviously, uh, for the former president. Investigators now trying to determine whether roof access had been properly locked down. The shooter climbing up seemingly unimpeded, about 400 feet from the stage, with a direct line of sight on the former president. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Uh, and so, you know, the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. It was a slippery and a dangerous roof, ladies and gentlemen. That's why there was no snipers from up there scouting for threats. All the agents and officers were inside the building securing the spot you know no one there were, there were people stationed at the climbing spots but they went to take a pee break and they got they sat down for a good 40 minutes scrolling through tiktok my friend where even if the roof was slippery fine you don't want your agents walking and slipping and shooting their gun up in the air or at people putting people's lives in danger and breaking th their backs where was the person guarding the climbing spots? It looks like Thomas just walked in with a rifle, climbed up the stairs or ladders, thinking, making my way downtown with my bitch. Trump's gonna eat my sandwich. Da -da -da -da. My friend, why was nowhere? Why was no one fucking protecting the climbing spots? But maybe if Mr. Thomas was alive now, he would blame me. He's like, guys, I'm actually a good shooter. The reason I missed like five shots is because the roof was slippery. It wasn't me. It was it was it was the roof. Also, the person who analyzed and investigated the whole scene said that there's no, there's a potential of three shooters, not one, but three. There's also this video released which got me really curious. So, viewer discretion, the graphics discretion advised. Take a look what happened. He's 
something that said, take a look what happened, 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 as you can see, the dust from the bullet just falls from this guy, but this guy fell. They're saying there's a potential of two shooters. This person is claiming that the second shooter wanted to take Trump out, hit this guy. There's a second potential shooter which hit this guy who was standing over here. They both fell at the same time. The bullets were not in the same direction. Even if it was, more people will be dropping on the way once they start hitting each other. So it really makes you want the only answer to this situation is a secret service maybe saw a weapon or something maybe saw a guy rub his nose wrong and saw him as a threat and they took a shot or maybe they had a personal beef with each other though the agent and this person doesn't make sense another person on twitter posted the whole thing saying the second shooter is a conspiracy hinge it's not real because the person on the left who was potentially shot was not actually shot He's claiming that he fell. He heard the shots, he lost balance, and he just fell. Because afterwards, once they started taking Trump to safety, he was recording the situation. And I like to point out, none of these two look like the person who actually got on alive. This guy on the right had a big belly. The guy on the left was absolutely fine. There's what, there was one person who died, got shot and died in the rally. It wasn't two, like I said in the last video, but there were... Uh, two or three people injured i believe everyone's absolutely shitting on the head of secret service for doing her job wrong on denying to take a shot at a threat for three minutes straight her answer to this was she's not stepping down as a head of secret service she's going to continue doing what she's best at putting president's lives in danger there's still no clear on who was behind this i believe it was an internal job that's just my opinion on this whole thing but i'm pretty sure more things are going to come out in the future few people are going to get exposed to what involvement in this assassination attempt but yeah the whole thing is crazy who would have thought we'll be alive and see a president attempt on assassination it's a crazy thing but let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you're new here you enjoy these yapping sessions drop us up take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one